Okay, Tim, thanks for lending us your leg today to demonstrate the big, the bone injection gun. No problem, Phil. We'll do first of all just pop some betadine on here to sterilise the skin. Okay, so I've got an adult size uh, big bone injection gun that we're going to use for this. So we've already sterilised the skin, next thing we're going to do is to locate the um, site that we want. So I'm going to go down the uh, midline of the uh, tibia, I'm going to feel for the tibial tuberosity which is very easily felt there, in a couple of fingers, an upper finger, so that's actually the triggering site, so I'm going to pop that on there for you. So Tim, that's where I'm going to access your intravascular space, I'm going to remove the um, safety catch, place my uh, palm and uh, press firmly down and fire the device. We get a close up shot of Tim's face just to watch for the tears. We're going to gently take that off and there it is. Nicely in. I've got a simple uh, flexible IV connector which I'm going to put on now that I remove the centrepiece. Okay now. That can go in the shafts there. So there we go, Tim. Doesn't look like one, but you've got a nice robust IV access there. If I want to do everything that's in the manual, I can then stabilise it with the little stabilising clip and tape over if I need be. But hope you don't hurt you too much. You'll find that's actually really rather robust. Yeah, very good. Now everybody says, I can't do that, it's going to hurt. Did that hurt? No, it didn't. I've been told it feels no worse than doing that, is that true? It was a mild to moderate thud. Just a thud, yeah. I would never have believed that was a needle entering. And that's what people say, remarkably non-painful, very secure way of getting IV access mm -hmm. in a difficult patient. Thanks very much Tim, you can go. Thank you Bruce. <laughs> well I clung to